hope everyone's enjoying a wonderful, wonderful quarantine, staycation at home. All right, let's, let's get into this. So Ooh. thanks for everyone that sent their questions in. Let's get to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a lot of questions that were written in Spanish. Uh, <laughs> I will try to figure them out later on and possibly return uh, an answer, but you know. Okay. okay, so the first question is, what is the best way to lose belly fat and tighten cellulite? The best way to lose belly fat nutrition would be to tighten up your nutrition. So if you're eating out or snacking on uh, extra foods. calories, you know, like chips or candy or, or anything like that, late at night too. Especially right now. I know y'all snacking the out there. It's hard. Me too. But that's the best way to lose belly fat. You need to be in a calorie deficit. You need to make sure you're also doing aerobic activity um, as well as strength training in order to tighten up the cellulite as well. Just to add on to that point, yeah. think, um, you want to make sure that you're still consuming enough calories to sustain you for the day, not deficit to the point where you're literally in a deficit where you could be sick, lethargic, um, putting yourself at uh, risk and losing weight unhealthily because putting yourself in such a drastic deficit actually keeps on the fat and it will start to tax and take your muscle because the muscle holds the most nutrients the most valuable nutrients within the body not the fat so that's why when people lose a lot of weight um you may have seen it they look very slim but it's like something's missing it's a lot of the time it's because they lost a lot of muscle but the fat actually stays we i kind of call it skinny fat right mm -hmm. but yeah so the best practice for that is to clean up your nutrition um Try best not to over snack because that's where those hidden calories are going to be um, without ourselves like realizing that we're overeating calories. Um, and for cellulite, there is a cream that I actually, I actually live by and I, I suggest it to a lot of clients who lose a lot of skin or sorry, a lot of fat and then ha um, are stuck with like excess skin or cellulite. Can't fully, you can't fully get rid of cellulite. Um, but you can help smoothen out those areas. Drinking a lot of water, doing cardio, making sure you're eating right will smoothen out um, those dimples a little bit more. It won't completely get rid of it though. Okay, I'll go. I'll find. I'll go get it. I'll expose it. I'll expose it. Are you gonna expose the cream? So while she gets the cream, um, uh, this this technique can be used on uh, competitors. I I use this cream myself. Yes. Um, I also use it on a few competitors. I've lost a lot of weight and they look really good, but they had to lose skin. This was used on top of a waist trainer. So this yes. is, this is the little. Go ahead. Uh oh. Oh boom. Hey Vanna, if you're watching this. <laughs> Hopefully you like this video. I'm kidding. Uh, Vanna is the creator um, of this gel. Um, it's going to uh, help with the appearance of your uh, stretch marks or loose skin or help with cellulite. Um, it allowed for deeper lines in Antoine's abs and in his, uh, his glutes. Actually, he used it for it under his glutes. So it, it really helps. Hope that answered your question. That was a bit of a ramble, but... <laughs> DM, DM, DM <laughs> us if you want to actually go further, further into it. Yeah. On to the next. <laughs> Um, what motivated you to get stronger? Was it from your past or is it something else? I think I've always been super, pretty strong. Like uh, my body type is um, stockier and strong. Like, I was like, oh, I'm she's caught like, these, y'all. She caught these. Is what she's saying. She <laughs> out here, B. She out. <laughs> I'm, joking, I'm, joking, I'm, joking. I'm sorry. So when I uh, prepped for my first show I or maybe it was my second one my second show um, I was doing lots of cardio and by the end of it I was just w super weak and tired and I couldn't I was I start to lose muscle as well just like the thing that we were talking about from the beginning right with with calories after the show I um, you didn't like committing to more superficial things as opposed to you would rather pick up some strong weight I want to feel strong I want to be strong to yeah I like, like that stuff was so secondary to me after I realized wow I've lost all my strength um, and muscle um, just to look a certain way and I wasn't for that and then there's ways to yeah it. my body wasn't having it it was uh, my body was trying to fight so hard to um, how much you cut how much did you back. cut 
like 55 pounds, I think. It was just nuts. But anyway, so after my shows, I took a few years off. Um, I was inspired by my friends at Afterburn. Hey, ABC, Afterburn Barbell Club. Boop, 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 boop. Strong men. So, um, one of my friends, Walter, he encouraged me to uh, get into a powerlifting meet, and that's when I started to um, train uh, for powerlifting, and then I fell in love with it. So, um, I've done two competitions now for powerlifting and hopefully I'll do some more in the future. Um, but yeah, that was, that was my motivation. It was my friend and it was also, um, the fact that I had a reverse kind of outcome when it came to competing. So that pushed me to get into powerlifting and to train to get stronger. And I love lifting heavy weights. Like if I could do one, three reps, I'll do one, three reps, but you know, I'm with this guy. One, three, <laughs> one, three, five. Odd numbers. <laughs> Anyways, this guy's all about 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 reps, you know, at a time. So, you know, I'm stuck with that kind of training technique too. <laughs> okay, so, next question. Whew, I'm getting hot. It's a pillow. How are you not hot? How are you taking away my comfort? Because it's smaller. <laughs> like, okay. Let's go talk about so, the pillow. Um, the next question. What are the things you knew, wish you knew when you first started training? Oh, man. Want me to go? You yeah, you go for it. Yeah, go for it. Oh, man. The education. Just, just the, sci the science behind yeah. why I'm working out. So what's, hap what's, what's actually happening and what impact am I having is the movement having on my body and what am I going to get out of it? Um, I think once we... Because when I started off, I was doing more calisthenics, um chin-ups, push-ups, all that stuff. So I had a pretty good upper body, but I had no legs. I had no overall foundation. And then once I actually got into school, um, when we were taking like kinesiology, muscle physiology, um, um, sports-specific training, like all these biomechanics, just the yeah. whole program just really put, it really broke down a push-up from a scientific point of view what's happening at the toe all the way to like your neck or like let's say your head because just of how the muscles insert throughout the body mm -hmm. and so anatomy um, would you say anatomy? yes yeah, so I, I would say learning anatomy before i actually got into the gym and understanding what's happening at each movement at each joint and how that's affecting the muscle i wish i would have known that training. earlier because then i think my approach to training would have been way different and I would have probably avoid a little bit of injuries yep. and tweaks here and there. When Anton gets a bunch of questions with, what do you suggest to build this? What do you suggest to do that? His first thing is, do your research, go on Google, learn anatomy, watch as many videos as you can to um, get some information about how the muscles are placed <laughs> and what you're working, yeah. Um, how you can target the muscle in different angles um, and all of that, so. <laughs> For me, I wish I knew the science behind nutrition. I wish I applied that right from the start from when I first started training. When I trained, when I used to train, I used to eat a lot thinking that I needed to fuel, refuel myself, but it was way too much and I, I kind of always gave myself that excuse too. Like, oh you worked out, oh you did cardio, you burnt this many calories. It's fine if you have this, you're gonna offset it, you know? So I had I had a really bad mentality when it came to training in the beginning. Um, so that's one of the things that I wish that I um, was more in tune with, with my nutrition. Which is more beneficial, training at home or training at the gym? Training at the gym is going to be the most beneficial, in my opinion, um, and that's just because you have everything available to you there. Cardio machines and just a variety of everything, you know? So. Let's say, as, as you all know, like, you know, with everybody kind of working out at home and stuff, you're limited to what you have at home, right? So, um, I 100% would say the gym. But let's just say after this COVID thing is over, um, a lot of people have probably got into a rhythm of working out at home. So, if there's things that you can continue mm -hmm. to do at home, continue to do that. Continue to do things you can at home yep. so you don't actually have to spend too much time out or let's say away from your significant other let's say your family right um use a gym for the things that you actually need if you cannot commit to let's say going all the time 
then use the gym for what you need to and then use your home for what you need to. But if you know that you're going to be lazy and, and you need to get out, get out. And don't use money as an excuse either because... Yeah, these days gyms are like are, are cheaper. There's, uh, you know, gyms like Planet Fitness and Fitness Deep... Oh, not Fitness Deep. What, what? Fit for fit for fit less, for less. Um, and they're amazing gyms. People talk so much crap about those gyms, but they're actually great gyms. There's everything you need there, right? Yeah, she is. yeah. As regulars in the gym, how do you both maintain your weight while you're in quarantine? Um, we're making sure we're uh, active uh, every day. Like generally, yeah, every day I would say, because uh, on our off days we'll go for long walks up to two hours um, in that day. So. Um, and another thing in the, uh, during the first week of being in quarantine, we kind of were going off, we were eating lots of food Lace, and like just snack, snack, snacking, you know, like we got no excited. Reason, yeah. Two o'clock in the morning while we eating muffins or something, you know, <laughs> or like she's baking for no reason. Yeah. That didn't go well anyways. But, uh, but yeah, so we just, uh, we're, after that first week, we start to realize, no, this is not how we should be eating. Um, we need to clean things up. Um, so we cleaned everything up and we were able to, uh, yeah, maintain, maintain. And in other way. words, eat from home, cook yes. food. From and home. if you are not a good cook, well, boo boo, you got YouTube. Yep. Google. Right. There's, there's yep. so much stuff. I mean, step by step and greeted by, and yep. just start exploring. We're stop also, being lazy. We're also not, I don't know why you uh, are so lazy. Like, stop being so lazy. Cook. We're also not, um, what's it called? Uh, buying food out. out. We're not, we're not, we're not out. buying food out. So I don't know who's making my food. We're cooking everything that we can or that we would like to have, let's say, as a refeed. Um, Someone sneezed home. on your food and okay. I ain't done. <laughs> stop, Antoine. Okay. Anyways, so hopefully that answered your question. Next question, what made you fall in love with Antoine? And same question for Antoine. The main thing that I was looking um, for in a partner was um, someone who was Christian, just someone who believed. So we, when we went to school together, we would commute from like downtown back to home for about, it would take about a couple hours. And that was when I really um, was able to, to learn who Antoine was and to figure out who he's, what he's like. Um, and I remember our first conversation was actually about Christianity and our faith. And I was a Christian prior to meeting Antoine, right. but I wasn't as deeply rooted as I am now. Right. And it, that's all thanks to Antoine, to be honest. Oh, right. So um, that's what made me initially fall in love with him at the fact that he was a God-fearing man. Um, and yeah, that meant a lot. Uh, me? <sighs> One word. Yeah, consistency. Um, she was always a friend, always there, always put me first, always there. Just her energy and just how she was, her attitude, just even how she communicated with it was consistent. So like I kind of I can kind of predict it a little bit, and I and I like that. And um, yeah, that 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 was the number one thing with me, and that's what helped me to trust more it was just she was she's just the same person over and over again because you know people can be so fickle they switch up you know like the woman that they're like this and the next minute like you don't know what you're gonna get but yeah. like she always gives me and not just me even when i see how she treats other people as well like if you're in that friend zone you get love if you're an acquaintance you're an acquaintance mm -hmm. yeah consistency yeah. and yeah with that he just he just made me a better person and like um, I used to swear quite a bit when I was younger and when I did meet him, he, he was not a swearer, like he did not swear. So it was one of those things I had to change myself and coach and, um, or be mindful with how I speak around him. And that allowed me to, uh, just learn more and just become a better person, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Stephanie, I am not answering your question. I'm not answering your question, okay? I love you, but I ain't answering it. <laughs> Are you serious? I know we said anything, but like we can't talk yeah, about man. this on public. Come on. That's so detailed. Okay, okay. And it's not even what you think it is, too. It's just very weird. <laughs> nah, it, Anyways, it's outside the skipping. box. It's like, ooh, okay. you crazy fan. Next question. How do you guys keep such an honest relationship along with your professional careers? Um, I would have to say communication. Mm -hmm. Number one is communication. Um, we're not afraid to be 
very honest, sometimes brutally honest, and that that's from the both of us. Um, and we, we, we really just like, I don't know, man. We we're like Bobby and Clyde, man. We just like being around each other. Like mm -hmm. we both trust each other uh, greatly. And uh, oh, another thing for for ladies or men out there, get jealousy out of your head because if if you so have any soft. sort of Jealousy in you when it comes to your yourself, partner with man. interacting with other people. Get rid of insecurities. It'll be it'll be a very bad thing for yeah, you, uh, as well as your relation, as well as in your relationship. Get out of here with that. Yeah, so, Antoine, so hopefully that answered your question. Um, how'd you guys meet? How about I show you how we met? Okay. So here we are in nutrition class. It was not nutrition. It was um. It was nutrition. Class. Carolyn taught that. Oh, it, was it was nutrition. Was it nutrition? Yes. I thought it was something. Anyways, it was the first day of class. So I'm sitting behind Antoine. Yeah, you know, Miss. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Man. Great. Can I ask you a question? Like, how was you know where? Okay, true. And this is the guy who's gonna be the class clown. I'm so annoyed. I I was literally sitting back here. Oh my gosh, this guy's gonna hold us back from class all the time. Blah blah blah. And so he put his arm back and his shirt was a little bit folded like this, right? So it's folded like that. And then I'm, I'm the type of person where if your hood is flipped inside out, I'm going to want to push that out and make it straight for you. So I don't know if that's a little bit OCD, but anyways, I unfolded his shirt. Ready? Okay, ready. Okay, let's go, go. So that's that's actually how we met. I was I was fixing his uh, his or his sleeve, his shirt on. Uh, yeah, his shirt. Um, <laughs> I jump, everybody jump, she jump, and then we started talking yeah. after that. And then from there, yeah, we just we started talking from there. <laughs> Next question: Star Trek or Star Wars? Star Wars. Stop. And the reason why I say Star Wars is because I really like Yoda. <laughs> yeah. Especially right now, the old Yoda. But I'm gonna say baby Yoda. But I know that's not correct. But I would say Star Wars over Star Trek any day. <laughs> Next question. Um, hi Sylvia. Hola Sylvia. So many. Hello. Hola. I'm ready to see some babies. <laughs> if you have a child, go look at your own baby. If you want one, go, go have, have a baby. one. And if you want another one, get the next one. Oh my god, that, that's his answer. But there's a lot of questions regarding this, so we'll we'll uh, hit that up. Question from Jamaica. John Rock. How do you change yourself to be a better virgin? Go, you answer this. Okay, um, I'll speak from my personal self. Um, God first. Um, so what I mean by that, like uh, just studying the Bible, um, constantly just getting, I, I feel like uh, the Bible is like my grandfather basically that I don't have, rest in peace. But um, it just it just gives me knowledge and wisdom and um, I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. I don't know what the heck I'm doing tomorrow. I don't know what life is going to bring, but I know God does. So I kind of seek him for that type of guidance um, in terms of better and improving myself. Um, I try to be actively aware of my thoughts, um, how I speak, how I carry myself. I'm not perfect. You know what I mean? But when it comes to like, just say treating my wife or like my close friends and family, like I'm always trying to be in my head to make sure that like I'm in check. Like, was that wrong? Is that not? You know, so just just being aware of what you're doing because a lot of us do things and self without self reflect all the time. Basically, I'm how are you coming off to that person? How are you affecting that person in that conversation? How are you affecting yourself in a conversation? You need to always self reflect, not be selfish, but self reflect and recycle that process through your relationships and right. Would you, would you say that too? Yeah. What is your biggest goal in life? This is super Can I good. answer it first? <clears throat> no, I'm going to answer it first. Fine. The majority of you guys know that I want like five kids, actually. Um, so my biggest goal in life is to be the best mother I am possible and that all those five children grow up to be, 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 the, be super successful and um, just make me proud. So that's my biggest goal in my life, <laughs> to be honest. Um, for me, I would have to say... Um husband and no i'm not i'm not biting off of her um the reason why i say that is because i don't know what it's like i've never seen it i've never experienced it i've never witnessed it in any way shape or form 
So um, for me, for me, it's it's an everyday challenge. At the same time, it's every day like something to look forward to, cause like as long as I continue to put a smile on our face and like our relation, we just continue to grow. Then I know that we we're going in the right direction, and I'm leading right because in our in our faith, you know, it's God, man, woman. Not that she's below me, but um, God's using me in order to you know lead. <coughs> really as we go together but um yeah for me it, it would be to be a, a good husband because i don't know what it's like and then father i really don't know what that's like so i think when on my deathbed and when i look back hopefully you know i did a really good job next question when is the child coming you've been hunkered down for a month already <laughs> that's no excuse it's no excuse just to have a child it's because we locked down for a month you so know? i, I think i am ready for it i can be He plans on having another very competitive year next year, so we're not going to have a kid for that year. But um, in 2022, after he has that crazy year, that's when we'll probably try to have a baby. And then, yeah, 2022. How old are you? 29. So relax, y'all. She's good. I'd be 31. I want five kids. If there's, don't do the math. I'm going to have my, like, fifth kid when I'm, like, 45. Like, ain't no wrong with that. We, we ain't trying to Oh, that. my... Anyways, um, when is that next baby coming? We will, we will, you'll be the first person to know. <laughs> yeah, I'm just living vicariously through all of you guys who have kids, who post their kids, and who send me videos all the time. All my god kids, like, I love them to like, death. Why are you marinating this one? Oh like, you're just milking it. Like, I just love them so much. Nothing to ask, I just love you guys. Love you too. Oh, What's the favorite memory you have from FLMP, the George Brown Fitness Program? Um, I have to say aerobics class, hands down. Yeah. I mean, we had so many lives and just, oh man, like guys, like you, you know those, you know those, um, those funny aerobic. What was that meme of that African guy? Oh my like, god, you or what's? That? Oh yeah, the <laughs> that. So we're doing aerobics class, like our teacher just really wanted us to be just very expressive and just yeah. have fun. We had to smile while we were teaching the class. We had Come to- Come on guys, like, let's go. Man, let's choose our music. Like, it had to have certain counts. Man, that was like, that was, that was definitely but when you, memorable. But when you see certain people that they're not like that, they're just more introverts or quiet or they're just more serious or like me, I'm more like hip hop -y, So I'm like, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that, you know, but, um, you have to, when, you actually let loose, when you actually let loose, it's it was fun. mad fun, mad fun. So I say aerobics. The next question, what is the ideal number of workouts per muscle group per session for muscle mass gain? Loaded so question. yes, loaded question. We do a quad dominant. Uh, back dominate with shoulder, shoulders, a little bit of shoulders. Shoulders or chest, depending. Sh shoulders or chest. And then a full back day, full chest day, and then another um, lower body, right. which is posterior dominant, which is glute, hamstring, um, which is glutes, glutes and hamstrings, so the back side. So, um, and within one of those days, we'll um, arms. yeah, and he'll also do an arm day. Um, we'll incorporate arms also in those days. So it, it doesn't only come down to your split. Um, and like the better your muscle mind connection is to your movements is going to also determine um, the quality of your exercises. Um, and yeah, a lot of these, yeah, just want to also add that you look fantastic. Oh, thanks. Not a question, but you're cute. Thank you. <laughs> there was also a few questions that were uh, very similar, but it's really, it's quite loaded. So I'm going to record that for a separate video. Uh, question is, how were your parents in um, accepting Antoine into your Korean family? So there's, I, I, there, I went through a lot with this relationship in terms of um, how I can bring him to my family, if that makes sense, right? Does that make sense? Um, so I, I, had a lot of fear back in the day so that question is super loaded and i really want to save it for a Kinda separate video sides when we think about it because there's a positive and a negative to it well, not negative, yeah 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 if you want to talk about that yeah it's loaded if you want to talk about that okay yeah it's our life yeah 
we don't mind <laughs> but anyways so we'll save that question for another video so thank you guys so much for your questions thank you every thursday we're going to be putting up the ask the question um story on my story and now on antoine's story as well so we will be doing this weekly and we'll be putting all the answers on our youtube page which is mr and mrs hamlet please follow and subscribe and we'll subscribe <laughs> back